Well, it had to happen. I think I'm going to dedicate this video to the gammas that I so enjoy blocking, wiping out, and just, you know, you guys all know about the mass gamma graves at my channel. They don't get any kind of uh, leniency at all. In fact, I usually just ban them without saying anything. Um, there are occasional exceptions when I just want to make a teaching moment out of them. So on that note, uh, to the gammas that I they, they they give me quite a lot of enjoyment. Now it's true that in um, in you know physical meat space, real life. Let me just adjust this a little bit. It's disturbing me. Um, gammas are quite annoying to deal with, just because they're so useless and annoying. Um, but over the internet, it's a pleasure to deal with them because. Oh, by the way. Herradura, proper tequila, yeah. So you don't knock the stuff back like cheap, you know, the cheap stuff that you used to uh, wash electrical parts with. Uh, to the gammas, may they continue to amuse me. Um, I think I'm gonna do a little impromptu thing on how to deal with gammas, both in real life and online. Online, it's, it's um, you have to first of all understand they will never stop especially if you manage to stick the shiv in which i invariably do because i just have a talent for certain things so you have to understand a few things about gammas now vox has gone into some detail about oh well they're you know the, the they were damaged as kids or they didn't have proper fathers and their agmidala is not developed this is all probably true. Um, Anonymous Conservative wrote a whole book about how the social justice warriors and these people that you see are, you know, they operate from the rabbit perspective rather than the wolf perspective. And it's a very interesting book. If you're interested, it's called, uh, well, it's by Anonymous Conservative and it's, I can't remember if it's called the KR Factor in Politics or something like that. Very interesting book. And I do believe he's right. I do believe that essentially gammas are basically, they suffer some form of um, narcissistic personality disorder to some extent or other, not in the clinical sense necessarily, although some do. But their behavior sort of reflects kind of like how women try and deal with adversity. Um, they're useless with women. They're pathetic at, at uh, getting laid, which just embitters them more and makes them even more envious. And you have to understand that envy and jealousy is basically what drives them. But to be perfectly blunt with you, I don't care what the reasons are. I don't care if, you know, how they became that way. I don't care. Just like I don't care about a mosquito that's trying to bite me in the middle of the night. I'll kill it, just squash it, get it out of the way. Similarly, I don't care about the gamma's troubles. I don't care. Here's a simple thing. The reason that the number of gamma seems to have increased exponentially is because things are safe and they can hide behind the screen. Because let me tell you that right now, gammas in the trenches of World War I would probably have had their throats slit by their own compatriots before they went over the, the, the you know, to charge the, the machine guns. And rightly so. In any sort of primitive society, a gamma will not last very long. He has to hide his natural tendencies to try and be an annoying little pervert who, uh, you know, tries to show what a clever boy he is because he will simply get clubbed to death. Now, that's how you deal with gammas in a primitive society or, you know, when there's no one watching. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they, they are, um, they're scum. They're, they're, they serve no purpose. They're, as far as I'm concerned, if every single gamma on the planet disappeared this instant, it would just be a better place. And so I sort of see them as parasitic oxygen thieves. And I'm being absolutely serious about that. Um, now, you know, unfortunately, the zombie apocalypse hasn't arrived yet. So you just, you're not allowed to just curb stomp them or you find them sort of thing. You kind of have to, you know, pretend they're human and all that and follow the law, blah, blah. Yeah. 
So, and I'm not advocating otherwise, just to be clear, but um, you have to understand that psychologically, the way to deal with gammas is exactly the same as if you were a troglodyte barbarian in you know the year 10,000 BC or whatever. Club them to death. Do not ever let them get away with their lies and their idiocy. You also have to understand that a gamma is at a disadvantage in the modern world because that little sound bite that they then try and pretend is their whole some knowledge of a PhD they've done in the subject, which is really just a sound bite and that's all they know about it. You can easily verify those things for yourself nowadays in 10 seconds flat if you've got a smartphone or a computer. So their so-called clever tactics are now becoming more and more obvious as sophistry. And it's quite interesting that on uh, Social Galactic, which I'm, you know, I'm not hugely active on there, but I, I throw a couple of comments maybe in a day or every couple of days. Um, there's, a, there's a really interesting example of a, of a gamma, this idiot called Jerry Island. And it's quite clear, you know, if you if you look at his uh, messages and so on, or his posts, whatever, whatever they're called in Social Galactic, it's quite clear that he is um, a plant. You know, he, he is somebody who is trying to demoralize and obfuscate and confuse Catholics, and particularly Catholics that are on the path to becoming proper Catholics. In other words, people who are becoming, say, the privationists like myself, who are starting to understand that, you know, Ratzinger, Bergoglio, these guys, none of them are popes. Uh, the last pope died on the 9th of October 1958, the last valid pope. And the ones that came after are all apostates, non-Catholics. They're starting to understand that any cleric of any level who does not actively and fully reject everything connected to Vatican II by default, by canon law, automatically stripped of their office without anybody needing to say anything. And it doesn't matter whether they're a pope or a deacon or a priest or a bishop, they automatically lose their office. People are starting to understand this. They're starting to follow the links. They start to like read up on it and realize, oh, you know, this actually is how it works. Um, and for those of you that don't know, go to canon188.com read the about page, follow the links there, and it pretty much, it's it's a crash course in uh, set deprivationism. It tells you everything you sort of need to know. But, so how do you deal with gammas online? Because, you know, they're hiding behind the screen. you got to understand that gammas are, um, you know, the truth is painful to gammas. That's why they're gammas. If it wasn't painful, they would change their behavior, they would change the way they approach people, they would occasionally have sex with a woman now and then. They don't, generally speaking, um, except other than very infrequently. And they are very jealous and very angry at the world because, you know, women are repelled by them. Uh, men don't like hang around with them. They don't really have any friends. They have no concept of honor, truth, uh, you know, or, or even just holding a straight line. They really don't. They're essentially, imagine the worst little bureaucratic worm tongue. That's what they are. So what you do? Well, you stomp them with undeniable facts, truth, and you keep stomping them. Do not uh, be, um, do not discount the power of repetition when it comes to beating them over the head with a stick metaphorically speaking, of course. You know, um, this little Jerry Island guy, it's quite clear that he's trying to say, eh, no, but why are you so angry? You know, and he's, th that's their projection because they are angry all the time. They assume that you are angry when you're telling them off or when you're, you know, putting them in their place. While, of course, most of the time I do anything to, to a gamma or interact in any way with a gamma, I'm actually <laughs> laughing. It's entertainment for me. I do not expect to ever educate or teach or, you know, improve a gamma at all. It can happen. I've seen it happen. I've done it. And I have done it on a couple of occasions um, on purpose, you know, because these gammas needed some help. And for whatever reason, I had some in friendly interactions with them, enough so to help them, you know, become at least deltas or something else. 
and uh, you know those of you that are interested in that can go to um, just Google graduating gamma and it's uh, it's a pretty decent series of posts I've never read it but people that have and have worked on it will swear by it now what do gammas do they will try and posture they're basically posturing the whole time is posturing there is nothing there it's a it's a Potokim village you know it's it's a facade they're cardboard cutouts they're not real human beings they do not have a real position they will not hold a real position they have no standards they have no rules they have no truth they literally have no principles so you don't need to feel sorry for them any more than you feel sorry for some virulent form of you know infection or bacteria they're about that level of, of usefulness in life in fact, if we could use them for medical experiments, it would be a, a boost to humanity, and at least they would have a function. But, you know, we're not allowed and all that. Anyway, the point is, entertain yourself. Make it fun for yourself, and make it fun for others that are watching. Make it educational. So, you know, I mean, this guy, um, I was just trying to see if I could find some... Um, Oh yeah, here it is. You know, on one of, one of the other guys, so like on Social Galactic, I don't know, I put a post about Anne Barnhart and how Anne Barnhart has managed to shift the consensus from of even hardened, you know, cradle Catholic that think Bergoglio is Pope. She's actually managed to make a measurable shift in these people and they now think, oh, Ratzinger's the Pope. No, he's not. And you have to be uneducated, intentionally um, deceptive, or like Anne is emotionally too invested to actually deal with reality. Because there is no way that you can say that Bergoglio is not a legitimate Pope, but Ratzinger is. Ratzinger was a, one of the main authors of Vatican II. Vatican II, the 16 documents that comprise Vatican II are completely heretical. I've said this many times, you all know this. But so what does the Gamma do? He tries to pretend not to know. Oh, uh, you know, one of the, this is how this started out with the Jerry Island idiot was uh, I, I put a post about Anne Barnhart and I said she's shifted these guys who now are like, oh, they, they now go to, I, I think I called it the guano infested rock of, oh, Ratzinger's the real Pope now. No, idiots, he's not. And, you know, you, you really have to be kind of dumb to, to think that Ratzinger is any kind of valid cleric. He's not. He's one of the architects of Vatican II. Vatican II is heretical. The code of 1917 is there. And you'll see how they, they mealy mouth things. You know, for example, one of his replies was like, well, uh, you believe in the code of 1917, which was, of course, um, overturned by the code of 1983. No. And this shows me that it's not, you know, it's not a... Um, ignorance. It's intentional deception. He knows all about the fact that the code of 1983 of canon law, of Catholic canon law, is invalid, completely invalid. Why? Well, because it was created by non-Catholics to try and invalidate the only valid code of canon law of 1917. How do I know it was created by non-Catholics? Well, it was created by the same people who created Vatican II, who are heretics and apostates. And literally, since 1966, at the latest, at the, you know, if we want to be really charitable, any cleric that says he's a cleric of the Catholic Church who does not specifically, clearly, and outrightly deny that he has anything to do with anything about Vatican II is not a cleric of the Catholic Church. He has vacated his office by the law itself. That's the whole point. Go read up canon188.com. Go to the About page. Explains it all there. So what do these people do? They try and obfuscate and confuse and try to create doubt, which is all that Bergoglio does. And this is the Satanist way. It is the way of Satan. Remember, he is the prince of lies. So what better to lie than to confuse the truth? And, you know, here are some typical examples. Um, one of the things that he, he said was something like, oh, well, you know, uh, you believe the 1917 code was somebody else. It wasn't this Jerry Island guy. It was another guy that was kind of the, along the same lines. Oh, uh, But, of course, it was overwritten by the 1983 code. And it's like, no, you know very well that the 1983 code is invalid and doesn't exist and, you know, it's nonsense. So you, you already know enough to know that. And you're trying to pretend 
that I am just behind the times and I don't know that the 1917 code has been overtaken by the 1983 code. And there you see the sophistry, the lies. So you have to hammer these people straight away. You know, so you're a liar. You're an intentional liar. You know very well that the code of 1983 is invalid and done by non-clerics and non-Catholics. And people will be like, what? Because oh, I'm an extremist. What do you mean non-clerics? What do you mean non-Catholics? But I'm right. So anybody that bothers to check, and I've put the link there. That was the other thing he did. I put the link there and he goes, could you be a bit more specific about, like, well, no. Are you stupid? Can't you read? Can't you click on the link I've already provided? And then say, well, why do you have to be so rude? So, well, do you think that stupid questions don't exist? They do exist. When I've just said something, and I've put a link there at the bottom for you to follow and read up more if you want to, and your next question is, oh, but why can't you, how could you possibly say that? Could you provide some references when I've already provided them? That is clearly an intentionally designed to frustrate me, other people reading. You're never going to frustrate me. You have no understanding of how my mind operates and what motivates me. So you're actually kind of helping me, if anything. And, you know, it's this kind of thing. And then now somebody else gets into it and, um, uh, you know, they, they try to like, and uh, by the way, all these gammas, I've told them, you don't like what I'm saying? Fuck off. Go somewhere else. Read something else. Don't follow me. Go read something else. It's a big internet. And of course, do they? No, they hang out in the sidelines and they keep trying. But the important thing is that as long as you browbeat them um, hard, they, and I mean, look, I've, I don't know, I've replied to this idiot maybe five or six times. He's written like, I don't know, probably 30, 40, 50 comments. And he, again, trying to obfuscate every, everything. Um, trying to say that, you know, so deprivation is such a sect. Well, we're not the sect. Bergoglio is the sect. So-called fake Catholics are the sect. The people that have followed the same rules and continue to follow the same rules are Catholics. It's quite obvious, but it's not clear to everybody. You know, if you're a cradle Catholic that doesn't know about so deprivation and all that stuff, and that's what they do. So um, I hope that, and here I'll finish now my little shot of uh, very good, Herradura tequila that I got for my 50th from, from my wife. I, um, I strongly suggest that all the immortals make a concerted effort to stamp out gamma behavior wherever you find it immediately. Be merciless. Be, be cruel even, I would say. The only way that these people will do the intellectual equivalent of what they had to do for millennia when, you know, the flat hand and the back hand were communication tools, was to hide. Like pedophiles, and, and there is, you know, there is a strong relationship between gammas and pedophiles. Um, most pedophiles are gammas and vice versa because they are not able to have relationships or to interact properly with members of the opposite sex of an adult nature. So they try and corrupt uh, children. Um, and it's it's quite a, th there is a very clear relationship there between gamma males and pedophiles. Just like there is a link between homosexuality and pedophilia. You know, it's, um, it's the same sort of, different but same sort of relationship, you know, in that they are there. So, you know, have no mercy for them. And the only way that intellectually these people will learn to shut the fuck up and not pretend to know things they don't or not to try and, like, tear down people that are their, honestly, their betters, both intellectually, physically, and whatever other way. Because nobody is helped by this behavior. Nobody is helped by the gamma's behavior. Although the gamma always, always presents themselves as, I'm just trying to be helpful. I'm, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to, you know, like Owen says, I'm just trying to masturbate on the bus. Why would you try and stop me? You know, that, that's, that's a gamma right there. It is not useful. It is not clever. It is not good. And everybody sees through it. So why stand for it? Don't. And it doesn't matter how crude, how rude, how crass you are in just stomping them. Stomp them where it hurts. Be unconcerned at all for, you know, 
they their insults or whatever if if any of that ever gets to you i mean personally it makes me amused at the fact that you know all these little worm tongue things and the guy and I, i've only just literally found this out now because I thought, no, let me have it as a background just in case I need to refer to something as a thing. And I realized he's done like, oh, my, wait, there's a number here as well. Oh, no, that's for hashtags. Yeah, I, I don't know. There's like at least 30, 40. It's, it's more than I care to scroll past, right? There's a bunch of, of um, they're not all from him, but there's a bunch of things. And this all started basically from one post that I did about Anne Barnhart, which... Um, I'm just seeing if I can find it. I mean, there, there are some interesting threads that it's gone off to because it's quite interesting to see how other people try and argue with this guy. <laughs> and then one of them, um, I can't remember who it is. It might be this Uncle John's band. Um, he said, oh, I just read Vox's blog on how to deal with gammas, which is kind of weird because if you follow me on this channel, you know how to deal with gammas because you see how I deal with gammas, which is straight to the mass grave. You know, Vox has a tendency on his blog to sometimes engage with them probably also as a teaching tool but um, he certainly is a lot more patient than i am and even owen sometimes engages with them whatever i never have i never do um, if i engage with a gamma it's purely because whatever i'm bored and entertaining myself or i think it's funny to make fun of them it is always funny to make fun of them because they, they can't handle ridicule and there's a lot to ridicule because you know they are not very successful human beings so it's quite easy to poke holes in anything they do say or or are um so enjoy your battles with them whether they're online or you know in in life the worst thing is, of course, if you ever have a gamma superior at work, say, but that doesn't happen that often because they're generally so inept at leading or leadership skills that they're invariably just some kind of peripheral guy. But you might be a young guy in a low position. You might have to answer to a gamma in some way. And, you know, it's tough. Just bind your time. Always be 100% straight. They'll make your life harder if they can. You know, when, when you're an inflexible truth teller they will try and make your life harder um, and you know don't, don't worry about it you've got a better life you've got a better internal uh, mechanisms you're a happier human being you if you're a male actually have the ability to get in relationships with women um, you know people like myself or you know generally alpha types they really don't care at all about the gammas, but um, it's always funny when um, I've I've had a lot of girlfriends over the years, and um, you know, uh, quite a f more than let's say the average number of them have been very beautiful women. Um, most a lot of them modeled, you know, or, or were that sort of um, type of look and. It was always funny to me because I'm quite a... Oh, well, I think my light's just gone out there, so I might have to end this. Well, the Kurgan talking in the dark. That might be kind of funny too. Let's see if I can go to a website that's got just something uh, white as a thing. Might give you a bit more light. There you go. Kurgan time in the dark. <laughs> anyway, um, it's always funny to me that... Um, you know, I'm a pretty private person, especially when I was uh, not married or whatever. And it's, uh, it was always hilarious when the people I worked with or the company I worked with or the people I used to hang around with work. It eventually happened if I worked with them long enough. Oh, lights came back on. Must have been a tripped wire or something. That um, when my colleagues or whatever or the people I worked with got to see the girlfriend I had at the time and the reaction from the gammas was you know they used to hate me like gammas throughout my life have always hated me pretty much on sight and and it's a pretty mutual sensation in that I don't hate them because they don't occupy enough space in my mind but I definitely don't want anything to do with them I dislike them I distrust them and I try and avoid having any interaction with them whatsoever and of course that makes them try and interact with me even more which you know but I've, I've had some pretty brutal um, conversations, even in the work office, because I've, I've never given a fuck. Even, you know, even when I was employed by other people or whatever, I, I just like, fuck you. 
you know, I'll say exactly what I'm thinking. And uh, so they used to kind of hate me, but fear me. So they couldn't really do much. But invariably, once they saw the type of girlfriend I had, I would say 80% of the time, they would try and become my best friend. They would be all of a sudden, they would be so awed by the beauty of the woman I was with that they'd be like, oh, Oh, and that finally kind of almost accept their position as an inferior human being. Now, the only reason I mention this is because the reason gammas are the ways they are is, is because they are inferior and they know it. And it's only when it's some undeniably unachievable peak that they know they will never be able to match at all that then some level of honesty actually happens to them. And then you can almost start to interact with them. Then they become a little bit sheepish, almost shy. And, you know, you, you can sort of begin to tolerate them better. Um, because, again, you know, truth shall set you free. But online, be merciless. Um, be Kurgan in your approach to gammas. Give them no quarter. Do not interact with them. Do not employ them. Do not work with them. Essentially, ostracize them as much as possible. Um, I won't have anybody that has got gamma traits uh, working with me or or for me or or and I would never work for a gamma type person. It's just why you know life is short, brutal, and ugly enough. Nobody needs gammas in their lives. So um, that's uh, my little bit of advice. And always remember, make it entertaining for yourself. You know, that's what I do with gammas. I, I love seeing them spiral off into <laughs> like the guy spending the next three hours commenting on Social Galactic. And I've just noticed you're a big joke. And it's even an even bigger joke. Hell, I made a whole video about the, the joke. So that's kind of the approach you know let them spiral let them waste their time let them get all upset and, and projecting and telling you how angry you are and how evil you are it's it's funny you know and uh and it shows them to everybody else for what they are so over time people are getting sick of it you know just like trump is managing to convert even some democrats to vote for him over time because the absurdity of, of the Democrats and of the, you know, of the child eating satanic pedophiles that, that are running things in the deep state is becoming so obvious to everybody that everyone is getting sick of it. And it's the same thing with gammas, both online and offline. People are starting to realize these guys are annoying. So the next step is you don't have to put up with that ever. You just don't. You know, it's again, the truth does set you free. You know, sometimes the truth will also get you killed, but hey, kind of worth it most times, you know, if, if it's if it's a, a fundamental truth, why not? You know, like, I, I would never deny that I'm, I'm Catholic to anybody. I don't care, you know. I've had, like, Irish Protestants that were pissed off on work sites that I'd, that I'd worked for, you know, worked in, in the past. Um, and I'm trying to reconcile things with these guys who are doing a shitty job. They're they're upset, but they've got their reasons for being upset. And I sort of say, oh, well, you're Irish, you know. And I made a cardinal mistake and say, oh, so you're Catholic. And say, no, not at all. I'm a loyalist, you know. And I'm a Protestant. I'm very proud of it. Very proud of it. And then, of course, they ask, so what are you? And I'm like, I'm Catholic. And they were like, eh. well, you know, this is a couple of years back. But... Um, and the thing is, not every culture will do this, but a lot of Western cultures will respect, even if they don't agree with what you're doing, if they're men. You know, gammas are not men, and they're not really even fucking human as far as I'm concerned, so they don't count. But a man that is actually a man will more generally more respect a even an enemy that is an outright, forthright enemy that looks him in the eye and says, I'm your enemy because... You say you're a Protestant, I'm a Catholic, that's it. We're never going to agree on that shit. Put that aside. This is the work. This is what you need to do. This is what was done to you unfairly. This is what was done by you unfairly. So this is where we should fix it. And, you know, most of the time you, you, can, you can reason with people on that basis. 
what you can't reason with are people who don't have a word you know their word doesn't mean anything they have no honor they have no truth they have no principles so why should you put up with that those are parasitical beings and they don't deserve your respect they don't deserve your time they don't deserve your energy they don't deserve anything you know no one is owed anything on in this world so earn it that would be my advice and I think I might have another shot of tequila on that note because it's really good. Yeah. I don't have shares in it. I'm just letting you know. That is tequila. Jose Cuervo and all that other crap, like my Russian friend says about the vodka you buy at the off-license. You use this to clean electrical parts, not to drink. So, and on that note, good night.